Hello everyone, I'm Said Mandegar. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you the key feature of Luminar Node that makes post-production surprisingly fast and easy. Jumping into the catalog tab, you can handle importing or removing shots, previewing and some AI-powered features like generative tools and extensions. Now, let's use upscale to beef up our shot. Drag and drop it onto the upscale box. Decide on the enlargement and hit upscale. Check this out, scaled up from 3K to 12K without losing quality, that's pretty amazing. Moving on the preset tab. Here you will find loads of preset style like urbans, landscape, cinematic and more. You can use them for your final post-production as a base for your edit or just skip them and do your own thing. Oh, I really like this one. Adjust the blend amount to mix your stuff with the presets or cancel it. Let's dive into the Edit tab. In the Favorite tab, you will discover the Enhancement tool powered by AI. Under the Mask tab, you will find the Mask powered by AI, which is a blast to use. It analyzes your shot, then detecting different parts and lets you mask or select them together. If your mask isn't perfect, Grab the brush tool, erase or paint until it fits. The highlighted area is where the mask is applied, so you know where the adjustments will land. Now, back to adjustments and make those changes. Check this out before and after applying this enhancement with the AI Mask tool. The Essential Category Under the Develop tab, it gives you all the necessary adjustments for the lights and colors. In the Structure tab, bring back the details to make your shots clear and more contrasty with AI's help. Don't forget you can apply any adjustment for a specific object with the Mask tool. Use Rely to control brightness in different areas. I want to focus on the facade, so reduce the brightness near and increase the brightness far. Depth determines how brightness near and brightness far should blend. Dramatic is interesting, lowering saturation and contrast for a cinematic look. The Mood tool lets you load your own LUT file or choose presets. Most LUTs look great here, unlike other software.
The Color Harmony 2 under the Professional tab offers advanced options for precise color control. Brilliance controls saturation, while Warmth controls your shot's overall color tone. Color Contrast controls color amount like Brilliance. And Split Color Warmth lets you control cool and warm tones separately. Lastly, Color Balance lets you balance overall temperature like shadows, midtones, and highlights. Check this out before and after applying this adjustment. Now another cool feature. Under Edit tab, you see a list of all adjustments. Open each of them to update or remove. This editable adjustment feature stays active in your save preset, so when you use that preset on another shot, you go to Edit tab and adjust them based on that shot. I will show you how to make your preset in a few minutes. Here, check before and after your post-production. And zoom in and out using the scroll or zoom option. In the action button, find revert to original to cancel all adjustments or save preset to save all adjustments inside my preset tab for same adjustments on other shots. Lastly, save this shot, send it via email or connect Luminar New to another device by scanning the QR code. Under the Export tab, change the output file name, resolution, format, and quality, and press Export to save. Now, I load another shot from the same scene, apply my preset via my preset option, and check before and after to see if it fits. Yeah, it looks good. Alrighty, that's it for me guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Please like this video if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to be notified about the next video. See you soon, have fun!